So we talked about direct addressing and that is an impractical way of using arrays. You can still use it that way, but it is impractical because you can use a um, couple of array couple of elements in the array that way it's going to get more complicated after that the best way of doing it is to create um, it's to do um, indirect addressing or indirect operands which is you're going to point your array to a register called ESI and that way you can um, go through all of the elements inside of your array. Now let's see how that works. If I have an array and it is type word and I have 10, 11, 12 in it, so I have three elements inside of my array. And what I'm going to do, I want to show each one of the elements inside of the array, but I want to use indirect addressing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say move ESI to the offset of array and then the next step that I'm going to do is move each one of these elements inside of EAX register so first I'm going to make EAX register 0 or I can do 0 extended. I'm going to use 0 extended. Um, move 0 extended EAX and the elements are going to be 10, 11, 12. In order to do that I'm going to say ESI and ESI have to be inside of brackets. So then this is going to be the first element which is number 10. If I display it, it's going to be the first element call um, right deck. And then, um, since it is type word, I have to increment it by two. So I'm going to add two to, I'm going to add ESI two because ESI is equal, is plus equal to. Um, okay, so now till here we showed the first element of an ESI and and then we're going to go to the next element of um, that ESI is pointing to and I'm going to move zero extended EAX ESI again and I'm going to call right deck and this time I'm going to get number 11. Let's try this. Build. Invalid instruction operands. I'm not sure why it didn't let me do this. If you know, let me know. So I can't use EAX. I can't use zero extended for this for some reason. Um, I'm gonna use the same register that I have to use, which is AX built solution. And yes, that works. Start without debugging. Okay, so this is not the values that I want to get. So let's see what happened and why this happened. Oh, I see. So um, we have to move EAX to zero because we don't know what is inside of EAX before we use this. So build solution. Start without debugging. And I'm going to get 10 and 11. Okay, let's go through this quickly again to make sure all the confusions are gone. First of all, we have an array of word, which is 10, 11, and 12. And then I have move ESI into offset. Offset of array is going inside of ESI, or it's pointing to it. And uh, I will first make sure that my EAX is zero. It doesn't have anything inside of it, because if there is anything inside of my EAX, 
it's it's not going to display the correct number as you see what happened a few seconds ago and then I have move AX AX is part word of EAX register and I move ESI inside of that um, call right deck on it and to display what is inside of ESI and then I add 2 to ESI why I add 2 to ESI because my type is word and I need to move two bytes at a time in order to get to the next element inside of my array so I'm going to add two to ESI and I'm going to the second element of my array and I'm going to display it again and that's it